everyone, welcome to my channel, 10 Ways to Wear, your home for relatable, wearable, and affordable fashion. I'm Alicia, and today's video is all about your spring 2023 capsule wardrobe, but we're gonna be doing it a little bit different in this video. Now, we know the typical spring capsule wardrobe is very neutral, it's kind of predictable, it's usually filled with basics. The good thing about it is that it usually does feature items that you can wear year round, not just for spring, but I find the typical ones to be a little bit boring, and honestly, I'm kind of over it, and my idea of a spring capsule wardrobe is something that really should make a statement to your personal style. So this year, I'm doing spring a little bit differently. I'm gonna be sharing a spring capsule wardrobe that features a lot more color, more patterns, more personality, and it's definitely one that you can still work with. So if you are looking to jazz up your spring capsule wardrobe and do things a little bit different this spring, you're gonna love today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, you all, I am so ready to jump into this video, but before I do, I wanna give a little bit of a disclaimer. I want to say that I hope that no one finds offense to me expressing my own personal style as well as items that I will be incorporating into my wardrobe. I know there's always someone in the comments who either takes offense or takes it personal when somebody expresses their own style, but I hope that doesn't happen on this video. Please know that whatever your style is, I probably wear it too for one, and for two, I'm not attacking anyone's style here. So just keep that in mind as you listen to this video. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. The first item that I will be incorporating into my non-typical spring capsule wardrobe is a trendy item. It's something that's very much trending right now, and that is a midi-length denim skirt. I am feeling this trendy item, y'all. I am very conservative. Yeah, I'm looking a little sexy today, but I'm actually a very conservative dresser on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't really wear a lot of mini skirts, short dresses, and things like that. I'm kind of more of a midi length type of woman, midi to maxi length. And so when it comes to like skirts and stuff like that, midi is the way I usually go 90% of the time. So I love this trend of the midi length denim skirt over the years. I've always shared long denim skirts with you all. I think I only have one denim mini skirt and I usually wear it with like a shirt dress or something to have something covering me up. So anyway, I love this trend. So of course, this is something I'll be wearing a lot during the spring. I recently picked up a really gorgeous midi length denim skirt from ASOS that I'll be styling up two different ways for you all. You'll see the first look pop up right now. And in that outfit, I featured a striped tank top that is from H&M. I also styled it with my Nike Court Royale sneakers, a tan belt, and my short moto jacket. This is a very cute, casual weekend outfit that I I absolutely love. It's comfortable. It's stripes are another thing that's trending right now. So it's definitely featuring another trend. And it's just something that looks really cool in general, but also super easy to put together. So I love that first look. In the next look featuring my midi length denim skirt, I styled it with a silver tank top from Fashion Nova. Kind of went a little bit more jazzier with this look, a little more disco. I also threw on my silver Amazon the drop heels and a silver chunky chain belt. This is another look that I love. Love. You all know that I love metallics. It definitely expresses my personality because I am sort of a maximalist. So this is a look that I will certainly be wearing. I'm just waiting for the right festival, the right outing, and of course the right weather to throw on this outfit. So that is two looks featuring a midi length denim skirt. And this is definitely an item that will be in my non-typical spring capsule wardrobe. Generally, when I think of the typical spring capsule wardrobe, the skirts are usually A-line white skirts or khaki colored skirts or, you know, chino type of of skirts, but this year we're doing it differently, so we're going with a midi length denim skirt. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. The next non-typical item that I'll be incorporating into my spring capsule wardrobe is a cropped blazer. Now, I think blazers are definitely something we do see a lot in spring capsule wardrobes, but they're generally neutral, navy, black, khaki, taupe, those types of colors is what you generally see. But I'm thinking of incorporating something a little bit more bright. But either way, if you go with a neutral or a bright one, I think a crop blazer definitely makes a different statement than a typical blazer. It's a little bit more modern, it's more fun, it's more jazzy, and so I certainly think it's something you should incorporate if you're trying to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be styling up a really cute cropped orange blazer that I got from ASOS. It's about a year old, but I will link some similar options for you all. I'm going to be styling it two different ways. In the first look, you'll see it styled with a white shirt. That's from Shein, my Levi's Bermuda shorts, and some really cute orange slides from Shein. I love the pop of orange here with that blazer and the shoes. Simple white shirt, dinner Bermuda shorts with a little distressing, really cute look for 
for vacation or if you're just going out shopping on the weekends or running around and you want to look really cute and put together this is a great look i really love it and that orange just lifts my spirits okay that citrus orange color it's a vibe. In the second look you're gonna see pop up right now, I styled it with that same white shirt, my pleated leather skirt from Topshop, and black heels. Now this is a little bit more of a heavy look with that blazer. I styled it with a leather skirt. I really like the contrast here. I think this is such a cute look. And you, think you can do this with any leather skirt that you have. I'll link a similar skirt to the one that I'm wearing from Topshop, but I love this outfit. Very cute for like a day night or a girl's night out. If it's somebody's birthday and you're going out this is a really great and unique look to wear so crop blazer with a leather skirt or you can do leather pants you can do leather bermuda shorts so many options out there but i really like this outfit and uh yeah those are two ways to style a crop blazer and like i said you can go with whatever color blazer that you want i'll link some options for you all but i think either way a crop blazer is a great item to add to your non-typical spring cups of wardrobe if you're looking to do things a little bit different this year we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next item the next Next non-typical item that'll be in my spring capsule wardrobe is a knit striped cardigan. I have been loving cardigans again lately, but I've been loving the idea of wearing them more like a shirt than an actual cardigan. But the great thing about them is that they are versatile. You can wear them open or you can wear them as like a simple sweater. I've seen them styled up so many cool ways all over Pinterest and different places. So I definitely think they're an item that either is trending or it could be just the stripes that are trending because stripes are a major trend this year as well but either way a knit striped cardigan is definitely something I have in my spring capsule wardrobe I recently picked up a gorgeous one from ASOS that I will be styling up two different ways for you all you'll see the first look pop up right now in that look I styled it with my denim midi skirt that same skirt that you just saw I also threw on my black Amazon the drop heels and a black belt really gorgeous simple look this almost looks like your typical capsule wardrobe but honestly when I look up capsule wardrobes I really don't see a lot of like striped cardigans in them so that's why this item is a little bit different to me I see striped shirts and striped t-shirts but I really ever see like a striped cardigan and I think this is such a great item to style up and like I said you can style it like I did with that denim mini styling it as like a sweater or you can open it and wear like a tank top a crop top a bandeau underneath it or whatever you want to do but I love that first look in the second look you're gonna see my striped cardigan styled up with my Levi's Bermuda shorts my over the knee black Franco Sarto boots and a simple black belt really cute and fun look i love the idea of incorporating some of my winter items into spring i think it's a great way to add contrast to your looks so you have that sort of preppy striped cardigan on top you have the distressed levi bermuda shorts and then you have the sexy over the knee boots so talk about contrast y'all this outfit is definitely bringing it it's a very fresh look it's a fun look it's giving street style but it's also giving prep and i love that very gorgeous look and those are two outfits featuring a striped knit cardigan and you all can see why this will be in my non-typical spring capsule wardrobe let's go ahead and move on to the next item another item that will certainly be in my non-typical spring capsule wardrobe is a black sundress now when I say sundress that can be many many types of style of dresses my dress that I'm gonna actually feature for you all is like a cami style a-line dress but you can go with any style of sundress that works for you there are so many options out there and I will definitely link the one that I'm gonna be styling up but a black sundress is a great version versatile item that you can wear during the spring as well as the summer. Like I said, I'm going to be styling up a really, really cute one that I picked up recently from uh, ASOS. It is like an A-line camisole style of dress. You'll see it pop up right now. And in the first look, I styled it with a polka dot trench coat that is from Shein. I've had that for a few years. I also threw on my green Nike sneakers. I've said so many times I love contrast. So of course, I wanted to finish off this look with some sneakers and I love the way it turned out. Super cute. I was certainly throw in a bright green bag with that to finish it off and honey it will be the perfect spring look definitely something I would stand out in and really look cute in in the next look you're gonna see pop up featuring that black dress I styled it with a cream colored bow detail cardigan that is from Express it's a recent purchase and some gold flats this is a really cute look I could see myself wearing this on Sunday to church or something like that or maybe going out to meet for a nice Sunday lunch with my boyfriend or one of my friends or something like that 
it's a really elegant look it's definitely very cutesy and I love that I love to wear feminine looks especially when I'm doing certain types of outings but yeah I love this outfit as well featuring that black sundress and so I certainly think this is a great item to have if you are looking to add something different than your typical white dress or your typical shirt dress a black dress is definitely something you can wear in the spring and summer I know a lot of people shy away from black I'm not one of those people and I think it's a great way to stand out and just do something a little bit different so black sundress I definitely linked some in regular and plus size below for you all as well as the one that I shared in the video so check that description if you want to recreate any of those looks let's move on to the next non-typical spring capsule wardrobe item the next non-typical item that'll be in my spring capsule wardrobe is faux leather Bermuda shorts. Now, I love Bermuda shorts. I've shared that with you all in tons of videos. I think they're a great item to wear year round. And honestly, we saw so much leather in the spring summer collections from last year for this year that I know that leather is a trending thing. So I don't feel bad wearing my leather Bermuda shorts in the spring. And I've created some outfits for you all using a really great pair that I recently picked up by Topshop. The first outfit you're gonna see pop up right now I style them with a leopard print blouse my black Amazon the drop heels to create a really simple outfit I really like this look animal prints are definitely a classic for me I really love them they're almost like a neutral in my opinion so the, the idea of wearing a leopard print blouse with my Bermuda shorts really does kind of create the ideal spring outfit for me it really allows me to express my personality and my personal style but still feature a spring look in the next outfit you're gonna see pop up I styled up those Bermuda shorts with a sequin sequin pink top from H&M and I threw on sequin metallic heels from Amazon the drop another look that I love very cute kind of having a little bit of contrast in there so y'all know I love that you have that really sparkly top on top and it is in a t-shirt style of shape so that alone brings contrast and then you have the full leather Bermuda shorts and some nice heels honey loving this look it's definitely bringing all the elements that I like in an outfit and there you can see why full leather Bermuda shorts are definitely going to be in my spring capsule wardrobe I'll be wearing them all types of ways so stay tuned but we're gonna go ahead and move on to another item the next non-typical item in my spring capsule wardrobe is gonna be an oversized shirt. This is another item that we are seeing everywhere and I think it's a great item to wear year round. There's so many ways you can style an oversized shirt. You can certainly wear it open and wear it almost like an outerwear type of feel. You can wear it closed, you can do half touch, you can tie it. There's so many ways you can wrap it. Like we see so many different ways that people are styling up these oversized shirts. And when I mention an oversized shirt, that can be an oversized white shirt and that can be definitely a bright color that can be a pattern whatever fits your style but we're seeing oversized shirts everywhere so they're certainly a trending item and honestly they're an item that I've fallen in love with so I'm gonna be styling up a very oversized pink shirt that I recently picked up from Fashion Nova you all saw it recently in a video as well as a haul I'm gonna be styling it two different ways for you all so in the first look I'm gonna style that pink top open with a white crop top underneath my Levi 501 jeans and my black and white Nike dunks because they have a little bit of pink in them they have a pink nike swoosh i love this outfit it's very fun it's cute it's perfect for like the weather that we're experiencing you know as early into spring when it's not quite warm yet it's not quite still cold it's just kind of like, like that middle middle type of weather this is a really great look to wear because you got your jeans you're kind of covered up you have on that crop top which kind of gives an allude to spring and then you have that open oversized shirt the nike dunks of course are another trendy item we'll talk about those later in the video but yeah i love that first look featuring that oversized pink shirt and the next look you're going to see pop up i styled it super simple with my denim midi skirt from cider it's like a split front midi skirt and i threw on some pink heels and a clear belt love this look as well really cute way to style up that oversized shirt and i did my little half tuck on that one you can see the heels it really is a look that is sort of fun and it's also pretty comfortable it's something that you, you know is not really restraining you too much so if you're going out to lunch or dinner or a buffet you can enjoy yourself, okay? But I really like this look as well. And that is two looks featuring an oversized shirt. Like I said, you can go with any color or style that you want as far as patterns or anything like that. Just make sure you incorporate one into your spring capsule wardrobe because I do think they're a really great item to style now as well as in the beginning of summer before it gets too hot. Let's move on to the next one. Another item that I will certainly be incorporating into my swing wardrobe because it's definitely synonymous with my style is metallic skirts. 
I love metallics. I love the shine of it. I love the pop that it brings to an outfit. And so it's definitely something that I've worn in my wardrobe for years. But I think this year is a great time to go ahead and incorporate some form of metallics into your spring capsule wardrobe, whether that's gonna be accessories, which we'll talk about later, or some type of skirt. There's metallic pants. There's so many items out there in the form of metallics. So I would certainly say this is an item that's gonna bring some life to your spring capsule wardrobe. And I've styled up some metallic skirts for you all. The first skirt that you're gonna see pop up is gonna be one of my favorite Fashion Nova finds. It's like one of those super lucky finds on the Fashion Nova website. It's a turquoise metallic skirt, which I've styled up with a white button down shirt. I also threw on turquoise metallic flats. Those are from Shein. And I threw in a turquoise metallic bag. Honey, you cannot tell me this look is not popping. It's so fun. It's very noticeable. It's very memorable, but it's also sort of simple because it's just a white button down shirt, but that skirt brings everything to life. So we all know white button downs, synonymous with your spring capsule wardrobe, the typical capsule wardrobe, but when you throw it on with something like that metallic skirt, you're talking about a whole nother level right there, okay? So I would certainly say this is something you should incorporate. I've shared that skirt with you all in a past haul, so hopefully some of y'all went out and got it, but if not, I would definitely link it as well as some similar options below. The next outfit that you're gonna see pop up is also a metallic skirt from Fashion Nova that is like a lime green slash neon green maxi length metallic skirt. I styled it up with a black sweater that I picked up recently from ASOS. The sweater has like rainbows on it. It's really fun, really cute. I also threw on my black Amazon to drop heels with the look and I love this as well. We're still getting a lot of cool spring days so this is certainly an outfit that I could rock on one of those types of days and I love it. I love the unexpected look of that sweater with the metallic skirt and I just love the pop that it brings. It's definitely a feel-good outfit and when I had it on honey trust me I was feeling real good. So those are two looks featuring metallic skirts and I definitely think like I said this is an item that's going to bring some light to your spring capsule wardrobe, bring a nice pop to it, and certainly something you can reach for for like those events when you just want to stand out, be seen, and literally and figuratively shine, okay? <laughs> so definitely incorporate a metallic skirt or some type of metallic bottoms. That can be sequins, that can be pants, some type of metallic into your swing capsule wardrobe to bring some pizzazz into it. So this next item that I'll be incorporating is an item that is a trending color, but the item itself is very classic, and that is red trousers. The color red is definitely trending this year. We all know that a classic pair of trousers is something we all have in our wardrobe. It's a very classic item, it's a timeless item, but when you think about red trousers, that's kind of doing it a little bit different than your typical spring capsule wardrobe item. But I think red trousers are a great item to incorporate, even if you're not doing a unique spring capsule wardrobe, even if you're just doing a regular one, some red trousers this year will really make your spring capsule wardrobe pop. So even if you're a minimalist, I would say think about incorporating this item because it's just that bomb and it's also a very classic item. So I'm gonna be styling up a pair of red trousers that I picked up maybe a year and a half ago from one of the Amazon The Drop collections for Carla Rockmore. They're sort of like a wide leg pair of red trousers and I'm gonna be styling them up two different ways for you all, of course. In the first look you're gonna see pop up, I styled up those red trousers with a striped puffy sleeve blouse that is from Shein. That blouse is so cute, I would recommend you all get that. It's sort of like silky and it's just really nice to style up for spring. I also style that with some red Amazon The Drop heels to keep it simple on the feet. Love this look, very cute, classic. That blouse looks so good with those wide leg red pants and I just love this first outfit. And the next look you're gonna see pop up, I style up those red trousers in a casual way with a striped t-shirt that's from H&M and some white sneakers. Super simple outfit. You can always add a blazer on top of this, a denim jacket, a moto jacket to finish this off if it's a little cooler during your spring, but I love this look. Red trousers are definitely something that will be in my non-typical spring capsule wardrobe, and I will be wearing them a ton. I have quite a few pairs, and of course, I will link some options for you all below. If I can find plus size options, I will of course link those as well. Just look for the parentheses plus, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next non-typical spring capsule wardrobe item. So the next non-typical spring capsule wardrobe item that I'll be incorporating is a 
statement trench coat. Now when I say statement, that can mean a lot of different things. It can be a pattern, it can have a contrast trim to it, it can be mixed media where like the sleeves are leather or something like that. Mixed media where like half of it's denim, I've seen that as well. Pretty much any type of trench coat that isn't your classic trench coat. Because we know that in most spring capsule wardrobes, the classic trench coat is always there and it's kind of like, <sighs> Okay, a uh, classic trench coat, we know, we know. Striped shirt, white t-shirt, white button down, blah, blah, blah. We know, we know. Well, incorporating a statement trench coat will definitely add a little bit of pizzazz to your spring capsule wardrobe. And I have one that I purchased from New York and Company that I'll be styling up for you all. It's black and it has a white contrast trim. That's what makes it a little bit different in my opinion. I certainly have other trench coats that I could have incorporated, but I don't wanna go too far out on you guys where it's like items that are really, really hard to find. So I think this black contrast trim trench coat is definitely something that's different than what we're used to seeing in a typical spring capsule wardrobe. And I'm gonna be styling it up two different ways for you all. In the first look, you're going to see pop up. I styled it with a knit crop top that's from Zara. I also styled it with my high-waisted page denim sailor jeans from Nordstrom. And I threw on some espadrilles with the look. And I love the way that outfit looks with the trench coat. It is very minimalist and sort of classic, but that trench coat really does make the outfit pop and just bring a little bit of a different spin. I could certainly do this outfit with a classic trench coat, but why would I? We're doing things different, right? <laughs> So I really like this first outfit. And the next outfit you're gonna see pop up, I styled up that same knit top from Zara with black and white striped trousers. They really bring a pop to this look. I also threw on some black platform Michael Kors heels and I love this outfit. It is absolutely gorgeous. Those stripes against that contrast trim trench coat really do make a statement. This is certainly a look that I plan to step out in with a nice hat. Honey, I am looking forward to wearing this to like a brunch, a lunch, something where I'm gonna be looking real different, real fly, and just very, very cute. So love these looks featuring a statement trench coat, and I certainly think this is something you should seek out and add to your capsule wardrobe this year to do things a little bit different than your typical boring Inspector Gadget trench coat. Let's move on to the next item. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we are getting into some fun, honey. The next item that I will be incorporating in my non-typical spring capsule wardrobe is a pair of shoes that are definitely trending right now, and I have quite a few in my wardrobe, and that is Nike Dunk sneakers. We are seeing them everywhere. We are seeing them styled with dresses, suits, skirts, a little bit of everything. I've even seen them styled with ball gowns on Pinterest, yes. Nike Dunks are definitely trending. Um, Air Force Ones are a good replacement for them if you don't like Nike Dunks, they pretty much look very similar. So Nike Dunks or Air Force Ones are certainly something that I would like to have and feature in my spring capsule wardrobe this year and wear a lot, okay? I'm gonna be reaching for mine a whole lot. So of course, I've created some looks for you all featuring my Nike Dunks. I'm gonna be styling them up two different ways and this is the navy and white pair that I recently got from Nordstrom. In the first look, you're gonna see pop up, very simple, styled with a white shirt, my Levi 501s and my navy Banana Republic Captain's Blazer. I also, again, like I said, paired it with those navy dunks and I love this look. It's classic, it's simple, but when you get down to the feet, immediate contrast immediate unexpected look, immediate something that is fresh, new, different, fun, makes a statement right off the bat. And I love that about this outfit, okay? I certainly could have paired that outfit with some nice little slides, some cute mules, some cute flats, some white sneakers, but no. We're going with dunks, baby. We're going with dunks because we're doing it different this year, right? In the next look, you're gonna see pop up. Again, another unique outfit. I styled up a white dress, which is typical for a spring capsule wardrobe, but with those Nike Dunks. Very unique outfit. I also threw on a denim jacket that I kind of scrunched up at the sleeves. Um, denim jackets are something that people are on the fence about, but I love them. They're a classic item for me, so I love this outfit as well. The idea of throwing on my masculine, you know, childish, Hip hop, Nike Dunks with a cute white dress, definitely bringing the contrast, definitely bringing a fresh vibe to my spring look and I love it. So I would definitely say if you're looking to do something different with your sneakers this year than your typical white classic sneakers, Go for some Nike Dunks. I will link some below. Nordstrom has them. I buy them in big kid sizes. So I wear a size eight, eight and a half in women. So I usually get a size six in, in big kids. So just keep that in mind if you wear a similar size. But yeah, 
I buy them in kid sizes and I'm gonna link some for you all. I'll link the pair that I have and I'll also link some other options in adult sizes. But yeah, Nike Dunks, great way to go if you're looking to do something different on your feet this spring. Let's move on to the last non-typical spring capsule wardrobe item that I will be wearing a ton. Okay, so the last non-typical spring capsule wardrobe that I wanna talk about is metallic accessories. That can be metallic shoes, a metallic bag, a metallic headband, a metallic belt, anything that adds a little bit of a shine and definitely a big pop to your look is gonna be awesome this spring. And I'm definitely incorporating this into my spring capsule wardrobe. You saw that I talked about metallic skirts, but metallic accessories are a great alternative if you're not interested in wearing like huge metallic pieces, you can always throw in, like I said, a nice metallic belt or metallic bag. And I have some examples here for you all. Some of these you've seen in today's video already. The first is gonna be this pair of orange metallic heels. If you don't know, I am obsessed with Amazon The Drop heels. This particular style of heels, I literally have, I think, 10 pairs now. I have 10 pair of these in different colors. So I love these shoes. They're so comfortable and they come in so many different colors. Of course, I've linked them in the description. But yeah, these orange heels, and guess what we got to go with them? An orange metallic bag. I mean, baby, look at this. Look at the pop on this. You can throw on a simple white shirt and Levi's and look so bomb in an outfit like this with these accessories, okay? Really, really great way to go. Another feature that I have here is gonna be my pink metallic Amazon to drop heels because I love them so much. Really, really nice little pop to have on the feet. You guys can see that shine. And of course I have a bag or two to go with them. Um, this bag is from Shein. It's the same bag as the orange one you just saw. So, I mean, look at that pop, y'all. Look at that pop. Do you see that? So special, right? So different than your usual casual pieces. This is another pink metallic bag that I got from Shein. I like to pick up affordable bags from Shein when I'm doing something trendy. I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of, bunch of money on a bag like this, so I go to Shein and get it for like eight bucks, and it goes so well with those shoes. So definitely think about adding something like this to your spring capsule wardrobe. Oh, I just lost a few things. We're gonna keep going though. I also have these really cute metallic turquoise shoes. These are from Shein and this metallic bag to match them are also from Shein. It has a longer strap inside. So gorgeous, right? Do y'all see? I mean, do y'all just see that? Oh, look at that shine. Look at that fun. Look at that uniqueness. Lastly, and I dropped the bag. Let me grab it, y'all. <laughs> Lastly, gold is a great metallic. So if you're not into all these colored metallics, gold is a great way to go. These are my Michael Kors heels that I've had for about two years. Simple gold bag from Shein. Again, I like to pick up these affordable bags from Shein, especially when it's like a trendier item. But honey, do you see that pop? Do you see it? I know you see it. If you want to add some pops, some pizzazz, some personality to your spring capsule wardrobe, incorporate some metallic accessories. I promise you, you can't go wrong with it. They're fun and they definitely bring a spring vibe that is just very uplifting. I mean, you cannot say, let me grab them y'all because you cannot say that this is not uplifting. <laughs> This is very uplifting, right? Just looking at it, but yeah, definitely incorporate that into your spring capsule wardrobe. Do your accessories a little bit different. Instead of your typical bags, try adding some metallics to your spring capsule wardrobe. You will not regret it. Thank you all so much for checking out this video all about a non-typical, non-boring spring capsule wardrobe. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you felt inspired to step out of the usual spring capsule wardrobe and really incorporate some pieces that make a statement to your personal style. Of course, if you are a minimalist and you like really neutral looks, the typical spring capsule wardrobe is gonna work for you. This video is designed for the woman that either is not falling into that category or that maybe just wants to do things differently this year. I tend to have a little bit of a mixture of both, but this year I'm kind of stepping out of the box because I just feel like getting dressed in 2023. I feel like getting dressed in a way that expresses who I am. So that's what today's video is all about and I really hope you enjoyed it. Of course, I have linked all of the pieces that you saw in today's video in the description. If the items are old, no longer available, or low in stock, I will link similar items for you all, and I will do my best to link a lot of plus size items as well. So check that description if you wanna create any of my looks or pick up any of the pieces that I mentioned in my spring capsule wardrobe list. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
Are you sticking to the basics when it comes to your spring capsule wardrobe? Are you more of a neutral woman? Do you think these ideas will work for your wardrobe and will you try any of them? I would love to hear about it in the comments. So make sure you leave me a comment. Make sure you subscribe before you go. And to all my regulars, I hope you enjoy the video. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Love y'all. See you on the next one. Bye.